We're getting a new view of the moments after a shooter opened fire on a Broward bus. The heroic bus driver racing through traffic before stopping right there in front of the Fort Lauderdale Police Department. At least two people were killed and several others hurt. We have live team coverage. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer joins us live from the Fort Lauderdale Police Department with how this chaotic scene unfolded. Yeah. Brooke. Well, Maribel and Kendis, good morning. As you mentioned, that shooting on the bus happened not too far from here. That bus driver jumping into action, driving straight to the parking lot of the Fort Lauderdale Police Department. This morning, we have brand new video seconds after that happened. Oh, it's someone on the bus. Brand new video seconds after a Broward County bus pulled into the parking lot of the Fort Lauderdale Police Department. An active shooter on board. <gasps> the man's bleeding. Gunfire erupted on the Broward bus yesterday afternoon, leaving two people dead, two others in the hospital. The bus driver barreled across busy Broward Boulevard and even drove into oncoming traffic after hearing the gunshots. She immediately drove her bus to the nearby Fort Lauderdale Police Department. Her quick actions, I am sure, saved lives. In a rush to get to the police station, that bus crashed with another car. Fire rescue treated three people hurt in that crash. As the bus was driving, it was pinned in and could not cross Broward Boulevard. The driver then forced the county bus past the bus that was past the vehicle that was blocking her and forced its way into the front of the police station. Cell phone video shows people who were on the bus rushed to safety. One passenger was shot and killed. Another died at the hospital. The accused gunman taken in for questioning steps away from the bus inside the police department. Our crew there as the suspect later arrived at the hospital. And at this point, Kendis and Maribel, Fort Lauderdale police have not identified that suspected shooter. Also a big question we are still asking this morning, why did this happen? I'm live in Fort Lauderdale, Brooke Schaefer, CBS4, this morning.